what up guys, this is the Wander Texan. So we found the fabric market and uh, we're about to go take a look. Okay, so this place is just amazing. If you are a sewing kind of person, then yeah. Um, sorry to anybody, uh, as a blanket statement from a channel, I think. Sorry to anybody who uh, actually speaks Mandarin for any of the stuff that I butcher, uh, but as I understand it, this is the Yongle um, fabric market. And this is in Taipei, right next to the river. It's a, a four-story building, or it's a multi-level building. There are four stories that we went into, and I think they're the only ones that are open to the public. Uh, first floor is just kind of kiosks uh, near the entrances, and uh, second floor is where we are right now this is if you just cleared out the floor it would probably just be about the size of like a small roller rink probably maybe a little bit bigger but uh, as you can see everything is packed in so tight that there's just endless amounts of fabric in here and apparently uh, I think it's called Jackard is uh, the type of fabric that is incredibly popular here. I didn't get any good shots in here because I'm trying to keep the camera low. Uh, some places don't want you to record. Um, like some of these shops I mean have like no photos up and I also just don't want to make people feel self-conscious. There's also going to be some very amateur censor censoring because uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video as I understand it uh, you are not allowed to record children. So anybody who looks like they're under 18, I'm, I'm blurring out their face or <laughs> black circling out their face until I learn better techniques. But yeah, um, the third floor is where we're going to look at next. And that is where apparently you can take the fabric up to them and be like, I want this made out of the fabric. <coughs> and, you know, pay them to, to make it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. You could literally buy fabric down here, take it up there, get it made up there. And then the fourth floor as I you know as it it looked like it was um, like a showcase for fashion designer students so that was kind of cool to see some of that stuff didn't get any video of it there wasn't really anybody there wasn't a whole lot to look at really to be honest but yeah this is I'm gonna be coming back here a lot especially for some of that Jackard the Jackard stuff is it frays a lot apparently so it is difficult to work with and a lot of people would probably not find it worth their time. I like the look of it so much that I'm going to try to find some stuff to make out of it anyway. But yeah, so um, that's about it for this level. So this is the third story. This is the one I was talking about. You take your fabric up there and tell them what you want made and you have it made. Now. I didn't ask anybody, this is just appears to be what's going on based on what we saw around. Now, there are a lot of other fabric shops around here, not in this building, but around the building, and so this isn't like all there is to offer in the area or in the city, but this was, it seemed to be the hub, the concentration of, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool place. I'm gonna be It's about time for me to sign out. Wandering Texan.